Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and also compare it to the DXY to the US dollar index because currently we are falling off the cliff here again. So let's have a look what could be going on here on the Bitcoin price because right now it looks like that we gear up here for another big move. So before we start with the content, my friends, a little reminder, be careful. Right now we have a lot of comments here from uh, scammers. So don't fall into these uh, traps down below here where you can get like some phone numbers or telegram uh, group chats where uh, they probably will try to catch your crypto. So make sure to don't fall into those traps. Some of those scammers even copy paste my name and also my logo and, and so on. So be very careful that you not fall into to these uh, traps from these scammers. I always try to report and uh, block them, but they always uh, come back and uh, yeah, it's very hard to fight it. So make sure that you don't fall into these uh, scams. And if you somehow have questions or if you want to contact me directly, especially to get into my own indicator live stream where it's right now live over on discord make sure to use the links down below here because those are the official links that you find in the video description and with those links you can get access for example to discord or twitch and so on so don't use the links or phone numbers that you find here in the comment sections because they are all scam all right my friends and now let's start here with the content because bitcoin currently is gearing up here for a potential breakout from twenty thousand dollar towards the first initial target here of around $21,500, our previous support, which now could be acting as a new resistance in this upwards moving channel that we had previously. So watch out for this price level, because here I think there is a very high chance that we maybe could see an initial rejection and then maybe a retest of 20K. And this is where it's good to open up long position if you want to trade here the breakout. Be careful if you just go long here once 20K is broken because there is still a high risk that we could see a fake out here to the upside and even if 21,500 is getting broken watch out for the next potential target here at around $24,000 and of course this is very bullish if Bitcoin is reaching those high levels and I think it is still very likely that Bitcoin is going into new levels and break 20k pretty soon but be still very careful that there are also some warning signs that we could see a potential local top here another big correction and then the final move here to break 20k definitely and also confirm it as a new support because here in the four hour everything is still looking bullish it looks like that we're gearing up here to break 20k of course we are still a bit overbought here in the RSI and also in my own indicator so we have to see if we can close at least a four hour candle above 20k that would be at least a first confirmation that we have now 20k as a potential support but better wait also once we're coming down here to test 20k and then you see if it's gonna be the new support to then open up a nice long position over on Bybit or Femex and if you have a look into the Bollinger Bands in the four hour you can see that currently stochastic is getting a bullish cross so here I'm expecting continuation to the upside even though we are breaking out here to the upside from the Bollinger Band but if we are able to close now for our candles above $19,600 we should be good to go to the upside the only problem is the MACD and KSD are very overbought so maybe here we could see a potential correction incoming but based on the stochastic it looks like that we're gearing up here for the next big move to the upside and uh, if we go now into the DXY chart you can see that currently we are again crashing down towards the $90 level so we consolidated here within this channel between $90.40 and $91.20 and currently we had a breakout to the downside and I think if we're gonna go below $90 the DXY so the US dollar index is going to have a big waterfall to the downside and that of course uh, would lead into a big pump in the stock market and also of course in the Bitcoin price so watch out for the DXY because currently it is on free fall and if we're gonna lose this $90 support I think we're gonna see a huge big pump in the Bitcoin price 
The only bullish thing here on the DXY is that currently we are getting very oversold. So there is a sign here that we could bounce from it and then in theory go to test the 20 moving average in the four hour or maybe even up here the 200 which is currently at 92 dollars so there is a chance that we could bounce here but the dxy is really looking weak my friends so i don't have too much hope on any kind of bigger push to the upside here so the dxy is really really weak and we should expect a continuation to the downside even though of course a bounce is in the cards and now if you go over into the daily time frame you can see that bitcoin successfully recovered from the 50 level in the rsi also in my own indicator we got a buy signal here in the daily and since then on we are just seeing continuation to the upside but nothing is confirmed until we are breaking 20k and also start to consolidate above 20k so we also have to create a support above this huge resistance that is above us of course this is a bullish pattern that we're forming right now but as long as we're not breaking out and also not confirm new support or new resistance nothing is for sure and if we compare it now to the DXY here again you can see that we are in a free fall and we are very oversold right now so if the DXY is not gonna have a big bounce now at least towards the 20 daily moving average at 91 20 or maybe even go a bit higher then i think we could see here a big drop so way below 90 dollars and that of course is very very bullish for the bitcoin price and uh, now we can also have a look into the weekly time frame because here even though for the long term bitcoin is looking very bullish we still have this warning sign that we are very overbought in the weekly and also a sell signal is flashing right now so i'm expecting in case that we're gonna have a big rejection here in this bullish pattern that we're gonna at least test seventeen thousand dollar potentially even go lower towards fourteen thousand dollar which is right at the 20 weekly moving average and also where the 0.382 line is lining up based on the move that we had from the bottom in March of $3,800 and the local top that we have right now at around $20,000. And if we switch now into the DXY here, you can see exactly the opposite. We are in free fall here. And if we are not seeing here any kind of bounce to the upside, potentially even to go towards the $95 area, if the DXY could have such a big pump, I don't think so, but it is possible. Then of course we would see a big correction in the Bitcoin price. But as you can see right now the dxy is approaching here very important support so also here in 2018 as you can see when bitcoin reached the all-time high of twenty thousand dollar we bottomed out here so it is very likely that the dxy is starting right now to consolidate here or maybe even have a big bounce to the upside to potentially test one of the important moving averages up here and if you look here at the 200 weekly moving average you can see that is exactly lining up with previous support here before we had here this run up in the dxy in march so i think if the dxy somehow is able to recover and to push higher this is a potential top here where potentially we could face some huge resistance and then see continuation to the downside because the dxy is in a confirmed bear market and we should expect continuation to the downside but if the dxy is gonna have a possible bounce then it should happen right now because also in the past this level here was very important and this is also where we bottomed out and then had another run up here which led into a bear market in the Bitcoin price. So we are right now in a very critical point my friends. I think Bitcoin has still some room left to the upside. We could also reach easily at least 21 to 24 thousand dollar before maybe we're gonna see a huge correction since the DXY is in a very critical point. It is decision time for Bitcoin and also for the DXY what is going to happen in the next couple of days and weeks. This is going to be very important. And don't forget that we are very bullish for the long term for Bitcoin and very bearish for the long term on the DXY. So even though the DXY could have a potential pump and a possible correction in the Bitcoin price, make sure that you try to accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible. In the future, you will be doing very fine like that.
So if we're gonna have such a bigger correction, which is still in the cards, then make sure that you're ready also to buy in and never panic sell your Bitcoin because once you're sold your Bitcoin, it will be very hard to get it back because the bulls will buy every dip, especially if there is going to be a massive correction. So this is my recommendation for you, my friends. Be prepared right now for all scenarios. Both is possible, a big breakout to the upside and then consolidation and then continuation to the upside. But at the other hand, there is also a big warning here in the weekly that we could see a potential bigger correction incoming here, even though Bitcoin could also break out here to the upside. So watch out if you have some cash on the sideline to DCA in once we're gonna have another bigger correction. And at the same time, make sure to keep your hodl portfolio because for the long term bitcoin will be doing very fine so keep your bitcoin don't panic sell and if you think that we could go down then maybe think about to open up an account over on bybit or femex here although with small amounts you can do very nice gains if you go long if you go short so don't touch your hodl portfolio just take a little bit and trade with it here on bybit or femex and if you don't want to trade at your own you can maybe try out this prime xpt co-vesting feature where you can copy trade other successful traders like this you just have to top up a little bit of bitcoin over here then click follow and everything does the trader for you so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos on bitcoin and also check out all the recommended links down below here here you know how to buy some cryptos if you're new in this crypto space and also if you're an experienced trader you can try out bybit and femex for example here is where you can trade easily bitcoin and other cryptos up to 100x leverage so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye